I'm going to show you the updated STAIR method, which is the closest thing to what they do in the clinical studies. So the old way was to take a red light therapy panel and aim it towards your chest. And then you wouldn't stare directly at the light, but you would allow the ambient light into your eyes. Now, this is still a highly effective method. It's the same one that I've used with Tiffany. He actually changed my diagnosis. So my right eye, he said, I'm no longer diagnosed with glaucoma. And also with Richard. You know, my, my sight is, is basically 20-20. But I believe that this new method is even better. So what's happening in the clinical studies is they are taking medical grade torches and they will literally hold it directly against their eyes. Now, since these medical grade torches weren't available to the general public, what everyone's been doing is taking these full body panels and then just using the ambient light in order to get the same dose. But there is a way that you can modify another factor and use a full body red light therapy panel or a portable device and stare directly at it. So the very simple metrics that we know already, in terms of how long your session should be, it's three minutes. The time of day should be in the morning. We've seen in clinical studies that morning sessions lead to the best results. In terms of how often you should do your treatments, you can do two to five sessions per week, although it's better to actually do your sessions daily just because then it forms a better habit and then you're more consistent with it. Now, when it comes to the light intensity, this is where we need to make some modifications. With the torches that they're using, they have very low light intensities. It's normally around five milliwatts per centimeter squared. With the full body panels, when you're doing them at treatment distances, we're looking at 70 to 80 milliwatts per centimeter squared. So I want you to think about this protocol like sitting in front of a fire. In the clinical studies, they've got a little campfire and they're able to sit quite close to it. Now, when we're using these high-powered red light therapy devices, we've basically got a bonfire, so we can't use the same distance. We're going to move further away so that we can get the same intensity as the smaller campfire when you're close. So now we're going to jump into a live test. I'm going to use a spectrometer and test the light intensity of different devices. Now, the most important difference that you're going to see is that depending on the size of the device, the light intensity drops off at a different rate. With a full body panel, as you get further away, the top LEDs and the bottom LEDs will start lining up. Whereas with a smaller device, that happens quite closely. So the biggest difference is that the larger panels will hold a light intensity for a further distance and the portable ones, as you're going to see, drop off quicker. Okay, so we're gonna start with quite a large panel. This is the MyLight Pro and then test it with the spectrometer at varying distances. What I've done is on the floor, I've marked three feet increments. So we're going there, and then we're gonna move back and check what the light intensity is at each distance. Okay, so we're switching it on. I'm going to start at the first marker here, so at three feet. And here we have a light intensity of 40.95. So I'm going to jump straight to 12 feet over here. And here we have a light intensity of 8.58. .8, so we're quite close. So now I'm gonna to go to 18 feet. And here we have a light intensity of 4.81. So that's what I'm going to stick with, 18 feet. So now I'm gonna sit and literally stare directly at it. And I'll be brutally honest, when you first look at it, it's really bright. At the moment, I'm still kind of squinting a bit. And already it's easing up. In 10, 15 seconds, I feel like I can actually stare at it now. It's kind of like when you see a beautiful woman. At first, you try and avoid eye contact, and then she gives you a smile. And after about 15 seconds, your red light therapy device smiles at you. And now I'm just holding eye contact. All right, so I didn't have a timer, just kind of guessed that that felt like three minutes. As you step away, there is definitely a bit of a blue-green tinge that happens. It's absolutely normal. What happens is your eyes adjust to an extreme red. And then when you look away, then you get a bit of this like green-blue hue that you see. But already now, it feels better. Obviously, I'm still in red light. But let's go and test the move. So I've got the move here, and just to show you how extreme this is, I'm gonna take one light intensity measurement right up against the device. And here we have a light intensity measurement 
of 126.69. So that's really, really high. And I'm just going to move to three feet away. So we're at the first distance marker here. Let's make sure that I line it up with the precise light. So at three feet away, let's get in focus, we're looking at 1.66. So already it's, it's too low. So I'm going to go at about two feet here, remeasure. And at two feet away, it's still adjusting, but it's 6.33. So you're generally looking with a small portable device that you probably only need to be about three feet away. And I can tell you that when I sit and stare at this, this is very, very easy. Just to look directly into this for three minutes would be no strain on my eyes. So when we're working with the pro panel, we're sitting 18 feet away. The dimensions of this device are around 43 inches by 15 inches. With the portable device, the Move, we're sitting two to three feet away, and the dimensions of this are six inches by four inches. Now, just to put a number in the middle here, I also tested the MIDI device, and here we're sitting four to five feet away, and the dimensions of this one are 13 inches by nine inches. So just to recap that protocol, you're doing a three minute session, you're doing it in the morning, every single day, and then at a distance where your eyes are comfortable, you can figure that out based on the dimensions of your device. Now there's one assumption that we have made in this entire video, and that is that the red light therapy device you are using has true light intensity measurements. Most companies overestimate their light intensity, and I've done a video up here if you wanna go and find out what they are doing to overestimate it, and I do a live test of a product so you can see what the difference is between what they claim and what the light intensity actually is.